Dozens of people gathered by the train tracks in Senegal to watch the delayed departure of the first four-carriage train on Friday. The long-closed railway line was temporarily brought back into service to take worshippers to an annual religious festival. The line closed in 2018 is part of a network that France built to link its colonies in West Africa in the 19th and early 20th century. We've been waiting a long time for the train to start running again. It's been more than five or eight years, so fortunately this day is salutary. We chose the train because there's a difference between the train and the vehicle. Firstly, the train is more comfortable and safer too. Three trains, each capable of carrying 240 passengers, are being deployed on a 130-kilometer line between Thiès and the holy town of Touba in central Senegal, according to the GTL's railway company. When I was a child, I used to come to Tuba with my father and we used to take the train. Since the train stopped, we've all been nostalgic. Everyone knows that Thiès is famous for its rails and its two stations. That's why, when we older people heard that rail traffic was going to resume, we didn't even hesitate. The temporary train service, which also has stops at Djurbel and Mbake, is being presented as a foretaste of permanent restoration of railway traffic in the West African nation. We have made a request for the acquisition of trains that could go as far as Bamako, as well as freight trains. So we're on a forward-looking action program. Service will run between Friday and Wednesday, helping to ease roads clogged by cars and buses heading to Tuba for the Grand Mughal pilgrimage. The festival is staged by the Murid Brotherhood.